Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to episode three of Scam the IRS Phone Scammers. Uh, what I like to do is call these guys up and waste their time on the theory that if I can waste their time a little bit, I might be able to save one person from getting scammed. So I've got a whole bunch of numbers here. You have to uh, bear with me because some of them work and some of them don't. But we're going to try to get us a hot number. And I also have a few uh, friends today that are going to help me out. And uh, I'm sure you realize who they are once you hear them. So let's dial the first number and see if we can't get some uh, IRS scammers uh, all upset today. Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. How can I help you? Yes, hello. Um, I have gotten a message and I'm returning your call. When did you receive the message, sir? Um, probably about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Just let me check. Okay. I'm speaking to Mr. Ho I'm speaking to Mr. Hudson, right? Yes. All right, sir. The reason behind my call was to take down your attorney's information, as there is a lawsuit filed against you by IRS regarding tax fraud and tax evasion. So, oh, can you provide me with your attorney's information, as? Well, I, 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 I just want to see if we can take care of it. I mean, what, what's, how much do I owe? What's the, is there something we can, can, how do, how do I resolve it? How do you resolve it? Yeah, how do I, how do I fix, you know, how, is there any way to fix it? Sorry? Is, is there any way to fix it or pay the, you know, pay, pay the money I owe or something or? Sir, as if now I cannot see any resolvement option for you. Uh, okay. So uh, what am I supposed to do? You are supposed to be at your place. The documentation, the summons and the subpoenas will be received by you. And you will be under custody for next 72 hours. And then you will be presented into the courthouse. You can prove this inside the courthouse, okay? Why? Well, so what do you, I'm going to be arrested? Yeah, within for, as this line will be disconnected within 45 minutes or an hour, you will be arrested. Well, can't can, can I just pay you now? I mean, is it, is it, is it I, mean, I mean, I don't see why, why it has to go like that. I, if I can pay, clear it up, I will. I, I spoke to somebody the other day and they were supposed to call me back and they never did. You want to pay this money? Well, yeah, I, I, I don't want to be arrested. I mean, I, I didn't know anything about this until uh, I got the message. I don't know anything about this. All right, as if now I'm not the authorized person to give you any options. If you want, if you have good intention to resolve this matter, I need to get you transferred to one of my senior officers who is, who is the authorized person, all right? Okay. Just be online, I'll get you transfer. Oh, all right, thank you. Uh, yes, hello. Yeah, Mr. Hudson. Yes, sir. All right. So, so what exactly you wanted to know? You know how much you owe to IRS? No, I, I, I didn't know anything about this. So this is not the first time we tried to get in touch with you. We already sent you the registered mail twice. Well, somebody, at call your mailing address. somebody called me the other day and I spoke to them. And they said they were going to call me back in three to five minutes, and no one ever called me back. That, that's why I'm trying to call you back now. And then the guy just told me that I could be arrested, so I, I want to get this taken care of. I, I don't want to be arrested. The amount which is miscalculated, it's $4,981. I, mean, I, I mean, I can get the money, but... All right. I mean, I, I can I can get the money. Probably take me a couple hours. How how do I how how what do how do I get it to you? I mean, I I guess this is like 
they're gonna come today if I don't pay? See, first thing that I'm not calling you for money. Second thing that you're not making any payments to me over the phone. Oh, okay. Correct. You have to go to your local IRS office to go and make the payments. Okay. So four thousand nine hundred eighty-one dollars, which is miscalculated. Okay. You have that intention and ability to pay this amount in the next two hours. Um, I I could get it in the next two hours. Yeah. So you have that much cash with you and need to go to your bank in order to withdraw it? Well, I have to, I have some and I, I have to go to the bank and then I, I can get the rest from my mom. She only lives a couple of miles away, so I, I, I so can... So how much you have right now with you? How much you have? Well, I, right now I can get probably uh, about 1800 or Yeah, between 1800 and 2000 I think I have in the bank. So tomorrow, first you can go and pay that amount, and the remaining amount you don't need to go uh, get from your mom. You just get a payment arrangements for yourself, okay? So I, I just give you. I don't have to give you the forty nine eighty one. If you don't have that whole amount with you, no problem. How much you have, you can go and pay that, and remaining we can go and and payment arrangements for yourself, okay? Yeah, I see. I I see. I see. I see. Last night. Hello? Hi. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. So what, uh, how do I, what's the procedure? What, uh, can you give me an address for the office, or? Well, I first you go in and withdraw the cash from the bank. Once you get the cash, just let me know, okay? I'm on the line. You need to stay on the line with me itself, okay? You want me to just, okay, okay. Something stinks like stale french fries. Are you still there? Yes, I'm there. All right, I all right. Uh, so I just leave the line. Just leave the line open. Then I'm gonna leave now. I'm getting my shoes on. I'm gonna just uh, drive down to the bank. It's only right down the street. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay. All right. I pee the food goes home crying to his mama. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Did you say, Yes, I'm here. Did you hear that? What did you say? Did you just... Did you just say something? No, sir. Oh, okay. I just heard something come through. I just heard something, I thought. Okay, no problem. You can't win! Do me a favor, will you? Next time you have one of these things... Keep it an all British operation. What's your name? I'm sorry. Uh, so, what's your name? Armand. Armand? It's Norman. Oh, Norman. Oh, okay. All right. Your ass is mine. Kill those suckers! Hello? I keep hearing Yes, sir, I'm here. I keep hearing strange things coming out of the phone. Are you doing that? No, sir. I'm not doing that. All right, all right, all right. Uh, when I get to the bank, where do I have to go next? I'll give you the address I'm where you have to I'm go. Almost, okay? I'm almost to the bank right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling into the bank in about two minutes. Okay, Nabolo. Once you reach the bank, just let me know. Okay. You're really a loser. I like gas. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm just about to pull into the bank. I'm just waiting for the light to turn green. Sorry? Uh, I'm just waiting for the light, the traffic light, to turn green, and then I'm going to be pulling into the bank. Okay. One. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, how are you, sir? Yeah, I'm just getting to the bank right now. I'm just about to, I just pulled into the bank. I'm about to go inside. What, uh, you want me to leave the phone oh, in the car or you're what? At, you're at Walmart? You're at no. Walmart right now? He told me to go to the bank. I have I, I have to get the money. 
Yes, you're right. So you're at near your bank right now. I am at it. Yeah, I'm about to go inside. Okay, so just just withdraw twenty thousand dollars and just call me back, okay? Twenty thousand dollars? He he just told me. Hello. <laughs>